All right. Not, not I'm, I'm going for it, but I'm hoping it's going to be OG because this is the first game of the day. Come on, they need to win four. Let's see if they can make a good start over to OD Pixel and Falk. Thank you very much, Chief. Yes, let's see if they can do it. Part one of the four parts that uh, OG need to, to qualify for the major. It's up against Middle Feed. And uh, as the panel we said, there's a bit of oohs and ahs. Middle Feed's draft, it, it doesn't look too bad. Dude, part one of Goog. Goog, right, Fly? What the heck is that? Let's go OG Goog. Remember from Boston Major? I'd, oh, I he know. He said Goog. He said it doesn't sound nice, but Goog. All right, come on. Well. Let's see if they can do this one. Uh, yeah, Mitter Feed, they've got a pretty strong lineup with uh, with Void. They've got good spells to throw inside of it. This Pugna pick is very good versus Winter Wyvern. Obviously, because it's all magic damage, it gives them ways to push to the tower. We'll see if it plays out. They are versus an anti mage, so if the game goes late, I think that's what OG is hoping for. Just stall it out. And here we go, OG. They expect the smoke. No till breaks it. Well, we'll see if we all can get the opening on it. So. Oh, they, they found it. Oh, they should have this. Cancel gets the last hit. Oh, and he does. And that's full souls. 12 souls 12. to the lane. Uh-oh. What a start for middle feed. They're still positioned here on this high ground, too. Yeah, OG, I have to be careful how close they come to this one. I mean, we are still jumping again with an over strike at the coming range. They'll back off. Right? Is it that? Pretty massive. Getting those souls on the SF. The dream for cancel. That's going to make the, the mid matchup begins. very difficult for No Tail. Cancel. Forced to TP right away. He's going to need some harassment, but he'll be fine. And he's got a. How much damage advantage? 18 damage advantage over Venomancer here. So I'm assuming Jarex is just going to start mid because of that. That was just it. There has to be backup here for No Tail. They've got to make sure that you know, Cancel doesn't absolutely destroy No Tail in this mid lane. That's sort of a, a start in the, the soul department. It's, it's going to be p possible. I like the lanes that Midterfeed have set up as well. They have the Void AA versus the Anti Mage, so they're going to put a lot of pressure onto Rezo here. And Kezu's in a one v one. Kezu, I think it will maybe suffer a little bit more in that instance. He's playing versus S4 Puck, one of S4's best heroes. And yeah, they are starting with Jarex in the mid lane with No Tail. Try to shut down Cancel. From On their toes with the Arctic burn harassment. The thing is that Void can't really help the AA. Is the one one nice thing that uh, OG does have going for them in the bottom lane with the mana break, with the blink, blink or two. If he gets like an old venom, they have pretty good chase potential onto that AA. And yeah, Void can't Void can't do too much because the straight right clicks with anti mage which isn't beneficial for him at the early marks. I mean, the thing is as well. Surely, if you look at the the overall game, this is it is a really good anti mage game, isn't it? The, the, the only sort of lockdown being the Burrow Strike and the Chronosphere. That surely means that if Rezo gets a good start, it, it's going to be very hard for middle feet to, to slow down and stop the anti mage. Yeah. And he definitely has the potential to get out of control this game. And we've seen it many times before when, uh, when an anti mage has a good lineup to go against. But that, I mean, a head start makes it, it really changes a lot of the game. It's cancel having this much damage just makes it way easier for him to actually play that lane. They put zone out Syndrome, and now it's Kamado versus dual lane bottom. Oh, he actually gets the uh, bash to get the last hit on that neutral creep there. RNG. But he's gonna get... Void's actually gonna get pushed out of this lane now. They need to, they need to have Weehaw make the rotation down there if they want to continue to pressure that AM at all, but... He's on his way down. Heroes, it's gonna be way too tough. For fly. He's able to get the rune before. Grabs himself the double damage. And then mid lane. CS was with the help of Jerax. No tell is finding some CS. Cancel still getting a fair few denies through though. Yeah. I guess it is. Weehaw's in a position where it's kind of scary because if he leaves mid, Cancel gets shackled, he's dead. Yeah. But if he doesn't go help bottom, Anti Mage is going to free farm. And now, yeah, Razzle's already playing at the 12 and 1 to the 5 and 0 of the Void. And same thing with S4 Puck. 11 and 6 to the 7 and 3 of the Puck. So all three lanes looking pretty nice for OG. Just that, I guess, the mid lane is a bit better for mid feet because of that first floor. Level yeah. wise, with a both on, on level two at the moment, obviously with the having both support soaking up a considerable amount of the experience in the mid lane. Now cancel. 
And we hit level three. Look straight away to make a play of it. And it's a very clean one. Very nice move from middle feet. As soon as that level three is there and they've got that extra point in the raise, they know that they've got the damage to do so and, and make that sort of play happen. Very clean. Jarek has to be very careful of stepping up in those type of situations. Trying to gale and shock the BSF down a little bit, but Hansel's looking fine. It's definitely, yeah, as you've been saying, these two side lanes are the real, real success stories for OG. 21 to 3 on Rezzers, and made 18 to 10 on S4's Puck. They, they are playing their hearts out to get it to the major no doubt at all in this game. They're keeping it cool and, and giving us some stellar laning performances. It's a really solid lane uh, for Puck yep. versus Pugna. You just have you know, your own magic damage, you have high right click, Pugna low armor. So S4 is actually committing out to Kezu top. Oh, Kezu. He's gonna get it! Got oh, decrep. Can S4 continue to chase this? He is going to attempt so and he's gonna have it after Got Decrep him. wears out. S4, ladies and gentlemen. Going for early boots able to put that pressure. Kezu went for early bottle, so he gets a little bit punished because of that, not having his, the same equivalent stats. Mid lane, try lane coming out from OG now. Jarex, he's got his eyes on Weeha. Weeha, we beat away. The right click from Shadow Shaman. And we're actually coming back in with the Burrow Strike. And the Storm up, they don't have detection. They'll actually look towards cancel. They get the Arctic Burn and the Gale connection. TP coming in from Sinner, and so OG will back off. Weeha looks towards the Shaman. With the stun and into the raise, Cancel gets another killing spree now for this mid SF. As good reactions from middle feet put a stop to OG's attempts there. And cheer, another kill for the mid laner. Good response, TP from Sind. He's pretty poor, but he's definitely doing his job here, making the rotations around. But Weeha more so is that big playmaker for them. He's even been stacking some jungle camps, as far as I saw, for that Shadow Fiender, him to be enabled. And Arcane Boots will be the choice for Weeha very early on. And look at that Shrine efficiency. Adjustments being made. Tomato was starting to catch up a bit in the farm bottom, but not in comparison to Anti-Mage. And now he's going to go safe lane. He can deal a little bit better with Puck. However, Puck just treads already. Yeah, this was pretty massive. Yeah, he is pretty threatening. I mean, yeah, Fly's going to turn up straight as, as up to the top lane as quick as Tomato does. And with the Arctic Blam pushing him back. There we go, this could be the 100th win for S4. Quite an iconic milestone for this man to hit on the hero. One of the, the heroes most associated with S4. For good reason as well. Strong win rate and some very memorable performances on the hero. Curious what build uh, Cancel's gonna go for this game. I think he has to go for the right click build this game. But oh, having that damage can be so bad. S4 top has orb. Goodbye. Just fine. Bit of a slippery one. As we said, the lockdown, it is lacking for, for middle feet. Sure, once the six is there for the void, they've got the, the very strong chronosphere. But other than that, for these sort of elusive heroes like the anti-mage and the puck, it's, it really feels like it's set out to be a bit of a dream game. Sure, if they got crushed at the start, the story could be a little different. But the fact of the matter is that they, they did not at all. Both S4 and Resolution, top CS. Are scanning. And I really feel that this is this could be good enough already for OG. Having this sort of an opening, having this sort of stacked AM and puck very early on, middle feet are going to have to make some big plays around the corner to, to, to sort of shut them down after this beginning. Yeah, I mean, OG also has like ways to defend towers very nicely. They have Winter Wyvern, they have Puck and Venom, and so just to defend those towers while the other other two just farm up. Well, Anti-Mage in particular farms, at least. No-Tail prioritizing the ward build, as we see. 2-1-3, gonna go 2-1-4. Sit in that mid lane, park it up, don't let them pressure towers. Kezu spending a lot of time running from lane to lane. Cancel as well. Only level 5 on the Shadow Fiend after having that first blood soul bonus. He is already starting to fall. Bottom, Kezu, Jerax. Close to the gap. He's got the shackles, but it'll, it'll hold back. Yeah. The TP that doesn't eventually get cancelled, but at least the initial attempt forcing him off from going for more. No tail setting up base in mid lane with the wards. It's very hard for Cancel to push the lane in any further. Kezu doesn't have a good place to go. It's my big concern here for Mitterfeed. He's jungling now as a jungler, so they can't really lane properly. Weeha, getting hit by Arctic Burn. Nice, Derex. Looking for Kezu, they've got the man. Easy kill. 
They may look for Weehaw as well. Jump forward. Does get the first strike out and away. Weehaw will be fine, but as you said, this is huge. Securing kills for the already very fat anti mage. Tomato is getting forced out too, but fuck. Laning phase. Heavily going in on the of OG now. 2k gold lead at the 8 minute mark with an anti mage on your lineup. Yep. The absolute dream. No tail. Dancing around with cancel. Cancel is happening. Jarek Jar Jar wants to throw a They want to try to press this tower with level 4 wards. And look at the S4. He's just doing it on his own. Tom I'm surprised Tomato didn't go back to base. He was sitting at 200 Dyer's HP. Top tower. Under attack. Oh, and Jerax, he's found Cancel. Cancel's come for a walk. But the shackles are there. OG, they should almost certainly get this kill. He's being slowed down by the Oxy Burn. Kezzy's going to come in to try and provide some sort of savior, but it doesn't matter. Cancel's down. They will find Jerax in return. Looking for the body block. Sidran trying to catch on to No Tail, but No Tail is able to turn with the three man Gale. Middle feet cannot chase him. Sidran actually takes it down rather low to the wards. He should survive. These little plays, very much securing OG this lead, and uh, I mean, this is how close, uh, what, what, what sort of timing we're we gonna be looking at on this battle here. It's gonna be good, isn't it, for Resolution? He's got shreds on top of the person. He's yeah. only 1,100 gold away from that demon edge, so. And S4 as well, 4K gold on the puck with the solo kills that he's been getting. This is gonna be a very, very quick link, link down going all, they're looking to set up for Max this kill. got a lot of disable. Silence there as well at the burst. Another kill onto Tomato. OG. Not they, messing around. Absolutely not. They need to win four games. And this sort of a start to this one with the draft that they have. Like, this is... This is so bad for Middlefield. They, they have to make some sort of major play with the Chronosphere. But as it has been, they've just not been doing so. They've left Tomato on his own. He keeps dying in this top lane. S4 is getting these kills. Rezo is having all the space in the world. I don't know what the plan is for middle feed, but I feel like whatever it was, it was not a success early on. They can't get the group up. The only way they can group up is with Chrono, and if he does use it, yeah. it's, it's, it's got a long cooldown, 140 seconds. That's the only way they can get aggressive until they have SK Blink Dagger, and Weehaw went for Arcane Boots, and so he's not gonna have that Blink Dagger for Radiant a oh, very, very long time. Unless they find the kills, and they are smoked up, Jerax may be the one to tank this. It's not really the kill that they want to go for. And Tomato, he really doesn't want to use the Chrono just for a, a Shadow Shaman. And he won't need to. They're they going to block him it. up. Yeah, they have to save that Chrono yeah. for core kills. They There's no way to. they can use it on supports. That'll be super costly. Renzo, getting closer and closer to that battlefield. Even stacking for himself a bit. Don't that part, yeah. Now mid, cancel, gets scaled up, ulted as well, has a TP. He's gonna lead forward onto no tail no tail sort of taunting him there as he back forwards and back, and there's S4 with the jump in from the Blink Dagger, Dream Call, Silence on to do cancel, and we are it down. Now Great Blink two. reveal from S4, and indeed, Jerax drops the wards, ready for the tier one push. They're fighting S4, they're winning these trades very easily as just the four heroes, and this is the dream for an anti-mage game. Rezo gets all the space in the world, his team do not need him at the moment, and he can be just left to build and to carry for the late stages of the game. With that tower going down, I imagine the Battle of Fury is pretty much nearly there, isn't it, for Rezo? Yeah, but yeah. He's gonna go pick it up right now. So, a pre-12 minute Battle of Fury treads for an anti-mage against a largely magical damage focused lineup. I don't know what you do for your middle feed. They're in a very, very tough spot at the moment already. Yeah. The only lane that they can try to... They can, the only thing they can really do actually is five men. I think that's the best option. I think if they keep splitting up like this, they're just going to keep getting caught out by S4's Blink Dagger. Yeah. They have to five men with the Chrono and try to get pickups here. But Tomato, you know, he got Ring of Health, and now he's going for Treads after Aquila. So his item timings are a bit, a bit odd now. He, it looks like he wanted to go for something like a Battle Fury to match the pace of the Anti-Mage, but... For that, I mean... You can't, you can't do it with a Shadow Fiend on your team. I was gonna say, and, and if he does want to go for the Battle Fury, it's it's gonna be there so much slower than the Anti-Mage, with the, as you said, with the way that, that he has had this landing stage and how far he is through the build at the moment. I think they're really in a really tough spot. It, feel, it feels like the game's already lost. It but does. It does feel like that because Puck because it's an anti mage. Like you normally wouldn't say that, but it's it's an anti mage. This is a hero that we've seen so many times. Just win games from a good start, and that's what OG's got. They've got the, right, more than a good start. They've had a fantastic start. They're 5k ahead at 12 minutes in, and the anti mage has only just picked up his battle fury. So that 
is going to just absolutely fly off the charts. And unless they make some massive mistake, Resolution should have a very easy time carrying this game to a victory. Telltale no taking the Venomous Gale tool down, not even taking the GPM. So he wants to just be playing around his team for the whole time. As expected, that's what the name for his team. Might as well just be playing the team fight aspect in mid or B. They are looking to set up on him, but now they show up for the heroes. And No Tail will get the hell out of there. Top tower will be punished by OG, while Rezo is just gonna continue farming the neutrals for the time being, blinking around, clearing those camps up extremely quickly. And nobody on the side of mid or feed can do some cancel hand, but he wants to have he has to be able to press towers. Minus hunting. He may just chrono for this kill. They know that no tail's here. He should just drop the chrono. He's actually gonna take an ult to himself. And in fact, he's trying to TP out of this. Okay, they get the kill without the chrono usage. They do bring no tail down. But as you say, the other lanes are getting pushed in. Yeah. Sure, no tail. It is a nice kill. It is that mid Venno. But considering the way the lanes went, it's actually S4 over no tail. And uh, of course, resolution in the top in terms of priority of heroes you want to be dealing with as S4. He's going to have to Kaya complete in a minute. No Tail's job in this game is to die, pretty much, yeah. as his Venomancer. He wants to die to those ganks over and over again. Yeah. Oh, they actually don't get busted on it either. Two creeps there that took it from a Pugna Shadow Fiend. And Cancel just having to go straight for the Treads BKB build this game. Yeah. He knows that otherwise he is just going to die. Looking for Fly. Got the chrono, but again, really doesn't want to use it for these sort of kills. S4 in the need back. The big ones. Yeah, S4 just jumped in straight away onto Cinderin. Cinderin throws out the Ice Blast, but Cinderin is down. S4 gets out to Mardo, does get a big chrono, but oh, it doesn't catch Fly. So Fly gets the Winter's Curse off. Looks look, look, like it doesn't matter, because they do get the S4 kill with the uh, the Drain from Kezu. Pretty decent. It is indeed, yeah. S4, definitely a big kill for them to get. And Tomato still eyeing up Fly. Oh, oh. Rezo turns out. Quick mana void. Blows up one. And now with the Hex, he looks for a second. And Tomato, he's gone as well. Cancel. He did get the kill onto the Wyvern, but at the end of the day, it's Resolution getting a double kill. He's got 9.2k net worth. Highest on the side of middle feed is, is Kezu at 5.6k. His GPM very high for this stage of the game. Playing Pugna versus Anti-Mage is actually one of the most impossible things ever because you have the largest mana pool in the game. You have a 4.5 in in and he, you will pretty much always go Aether Lens for that, for that uh, cast range. So you're sitting at like, 1,500 mana. That's what's going to pop him every single time and be very satisfied because that's the highest net worth as well. He's their killer. He's their kill hero inside the Chronosphere until Snaking has Blink Dagger. Level 15 ready on Rezo. How ahead is he? Four levels ahead of the next on Mitter Feed, being the Pugnunk and the Shadow Fiend at 11. Already with Manta finished up in a second. It's gonna be at like uh, 17 minutes, not even that he has Manta style battle fury. I don't know, Owen. I don't know how they can really try to take advantage of this anti move to free farming. They have to find more kills, they have to find more objectives, and I don't see a really good way for them to do it versus this Winter Wyvern Venomancer who just constantly shove out the waves with the war with the Splinter Blast. I mean, you, just the, the anti mage is a hero. It's just their games like this where he can just absolutely Anthem. crush your bottom lane S4 jumps in. Jarex is going to be there for the further disable, and that will allow the two of them to claim the kill. Themselves out of the Ice Blast, back away, and now, ooh. Maybe even finding more. They've got the Winter's Curse set up onto Kezu. It's to the Hex. Oh, you take a second. We are just coming with the Epicenter. And we'll actually find the kill onto S4. So, punished a little bit there for their greediness, OG. Jarek still eyes on Sinner. In fact, oh, he just has a blast to take it. Double kill for Jarek as he just waltzes his out on the shot. He's thinking about going back in onto Weeha. He's eyeing up the Sand King. But I have to be careful with that. That never would down. Yeah, he's my kill. So he has to be very careful. So, we S4, have S4 died a few times. This yeah. is good news for... Uh, for mid or feed, but uh, the the, the anti-mage is not dying at all. In fact, I don't think Resolution's actually been under any sort of threat for the entire entirety of this game. He's level 17 at 17 minutes in. He's got a Manta style. 234 last hit, yeah. 17. You're, you're not beating this anti -mage. Rezo knows he's got to win every game today to get to the Major, and he is absolutely playing like he knows. He's... 
is absolutely bossing it. We at least had the blink dagger at a pretty good time, then, right? So that bottom epicenter came out because of yeah. the, uh, the blink. However, the rest of his team is in farming. So great. Tomato queues up the Lincoln Sphere. He has the Ring of Health already on top of Treads. And how's our team doing? His team is trying to work for that glimmer cave. Like a ways away though. But yeah, it's the timer. Level 18 already on Anti Mage. Level 3 Mana Void at the ready. And Notel is preparing for Roshan. He has the medallion. And like I said, Venno. His job is pretty much to just push lanes and die. Tank the ultimate. So that your know, anti mage can carry the game by himself. Jerax has blink. Try to get the cast on Tomato that enables to find it. Right, sees an opportunity for a kill. I can't quite find the mana void though. We are just managed to juke him and survive now. Back to farming, right? Yeah. Says Rezo. I mean, so if we stand an anti mage game, what point does Rezo actually uh, decide he wants to finish the game? Six got it. So he didn't get there or eight. This can be a big timer, yeah. Okay. They use. Do some of that. Yeah, they use that kind of timer for some of these like, big ulties like Chrono Sphere. You get Aegis, they use Chrono Sphere. They're big, they're big like, cooldown spells used. You can then threaten high ground. He might even just wait for the butterfly since he's so close on this anti mage. Doubling the net worth of the next hero. Actually, funnily enough, so, you know, watching and, and talking about Resolution Anti Mage, wasn't it last uh, last uh, Dreamhack Atlanta when um, Planet Odd turned up and they've been having a bit of a tough time? And then did they proceed to win lots of games because they were drafting Resolution Anti Mage? Yes. Yeah. It was. They also lost a couple games because it was like impossible anti mage to flip the top. Oh, the yes, I remember. Uh, go jump in there for the Ice Blast Piper as well. Hotel, doing his job. He did his job, so yeah, yeah, And as four, as four for trade kills. So he's got a three man dream call. Has to go out though, but it procs the BKB from Captain. Captain pressed it. Now he's got a TP across. They're looking to chase this one down, and the Mage is good. He's got the phase shift S4. The Winter's Curse is there from Fly, buying the time for S4 to blink out. And they're just creating space. Yep. Rezu has. Rezu has no interest he's like oh oh no tail died good good job i go back there. 20 minutes oh it's time for me to finish my butterfly that is he's pretty much got it some absurd timing he's gonna have a 21 22 minute butterfly and i don't know how they kill this guy i, I just don't see this anti-mage dying he's at 15 yeah. last hits per minute at the moment 300 cs at 20 minutes in that, I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily a record because I know there has been some incredible anti-mage games in the past, but it's it's definitely got to be up there at the top. It's it's. I think it's Ember might be. We've seen some Naga games where they're really high up too. But they're yeah, right now finding Reha. Oh, I'll take that Reza. There we go. And now Butterfly complete. Yep. Twenty minutes in for Reza. Kazu. We got the minimum for a second. Oh, that's a kill. I'll look for that one. Might get this one. He's able to prep a fight. Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's going for it. And uh, he's got it. Ah, uh, that's one. Resolution picks up the double kill. Does the Oh, he's got the center as well with the illusion hitting him. He's going to be able to get Sin too. Sin's going to go down. They do lose the Aegis, but already. Oh. Middle field have lost three. They have the one man fire tomorrow. Although you can get two there to get S4 as well. S4 does go down. A Rezo, this is going to start bringing it up. They'll get a triple kill. Move towards tomorrow. I'll take that one as well. Actually, no tail was the one to kill secure that one. But that's the butterfly done. Resolution instantly with 1400 gold on top of the butterfly. 12k gold lead with an anti mage. We've said it since sort of the six minute mark, but I. This game, it feels like it's over. Oh, it's, it is definitely almost impossible. Uh, it's, it's definitely like impossible for me to win. This is 18k net worth. He against. is going to have the yep. same net worth as soon as the three cores on the side of Mirrorfeet. Oh, yeah, he's already got the same as the two added together. Yeah. Let's just keep following him. He's almost got that. I'm just going to kill this portrait. Let's watch this man farm. Mid. 900 XP a minute as well with these kills that he's been finding. Easy levels for Reza. 857 GPM. No tail, doing his job. Yeah, well played no tail. Good job, no tail. Yeah, Reza gives him a command. There we go, so we've got 285 last turn. It's at the 20 minute mark. It's the highest on any hero system. What? It's TI5. No way. Yeah. It is that. Jeez. Dude, he's. It's pretty absurd when you see this type of last hitting. Now he's hitting uh, past 16, 16 last hits per minute. He's going to keep accelerating. You don't see that type of fight. This is the almost ever. Yeah. He might ah. actually. Yeah, he might pass it. He might pass all the records. And here. look at the this speed he's winning this AM game. 
20k net worth at 22 20. minutes. Almost 1k GPM on an anti mage. He's going for it. That's probably his goal. This is crazy. I mean, Rezo's here to win and at some pace. He must have had a, a lady ring him up and say she was home alone. He's mine. Rezo, he's, he's racing through this one. He wants to be done with his games. He wants to be qualified for the major and get this day over with. And Tomato, does he look for the pick up here? Does he have one? Not have it yet. Can't right. Get the grab. Well, I've, I've enjoyed watching it. We've had some entertaining games. This one's just a little bad. Rezo's ready to get some kills. He says, I'm ready to try kills. Can drops the record and pops the BKB, but Rezo's fine. He just walks his off. He's going to be ready to jump back in if he wants to. Doesn't need to, as it is, of course. In fact, they may even be able to win this game with the rest of OG having their hands on the keyboard, just leaving it to Rezo now at this stage. He's level 23, nearly 24. And he's nearly got that bit. Will he get 25 before the 25 minute mark? He's got to hurry up. Wait, is he literally just a bit booster away from a bit play? He's got the rest yeah, of the he's got, he's got it. He's got it in a second. He can. Oh my. Yeah. There's, no, there's no jungle for him. He's waiting for the bunny runes. This is slowing down his farm. I mean, there, no, there really is no other hero that could do this. But then, to be fair, there's not a lot of players at all. In fact, there's very few players that could pull this off. In fact, he's, he's the number one anti mate as, uh, in terms of the record, in terms I'm, of the stats. I'm just watching. Is he going to make it? So, what do we got? Other record last hits. Okay. 30 minutes, 487. How many, how many CS has he got at the moment? I mean, he's, he he's averaging 400 higher. CS. Because he's averaging a 24. What is, I can't do too much math now. So it's over 17 last hits per minute. So that is beating S Triple C if he hits the 30 minute mark, if it gets to that point. Wait, he li he is, I think he's about 10 CS away from having more CS than the entirety of Middle Feet combined, if, I, if my math is right. Look, 158 plus 104, that's what? 262. Oh, yeah, you're right. 370. It's it's getting close. He he's nearly has. Kills now though, he's got the abyssal, so he wants to just yeah. get frags. He has more CS than the three cores of middle feet put together. Yeah. That's for sure. Fine. Oh no. Lincoln gets delivered. It's gonna be enough to save him though. Rezo finds the barrier. Metro's gonna be ready to jump into the fight as well. Rezo, he says, time to fight. He's finished farming. I'll take one kill. I'll take two kill. Give me the double kill. I'll take three kills. So the is down. Go on, give it. He wants the rampage. You know, he's done. He's going to go back in, surely. He says, I want to get all five of these. He's looking towards Cancel. Uh, they've got the control. Cancel trying to run himself away. He's revving up the wrecking. Now Cal goes back in. I'll take the ultra kill. Ooh, Where's rampage. my rampage? Reza, he wants it. There and it he gets it. He's get a rampage. Get oh, is he getting a double? He's not done. He wants more. I'll take that as well. There Thank you very much. Double yeah. rampage for Rezo. 984. Oh! He's almost all oh, the GT out before the one. If he gets the tower, nice. Okay. All right. Broken. I mean, broken. I don't think we're seeing. Ankles broken. I don't think we're seeing any more anti mage today. I really don't. If anyone lets it through, then uh, we're gonna have to intervene, investigate them for free two twoing because you don't, you don't let this guy play anti. Not when you pick Pugna in the third. I mean, sure, but I, even just the way he plays it, just even if you have like the dream lineup against it, I feel like he's still gonna have to again. This resolution anti mage. He is just. That is incredible. I.